when I say that I literally had to take it out of her cart, that is not an exaggeration. Hi, I'm Amy, the Rainy Day Shopper. I'm a part-time reseller and uh, someone who loves to thrift. So we have a Goodwill haul today and literally we'll get into the story if you haven't seen my little short. Anyway, it, it's one I filmed when I was at the thrift after this happened because it was super fun, but uh, I almost didn't make it out with one of my items. We are going to get into this haul because it is going to be a little bit of a longer haul because I have not been thrifting in a real store very often the past year. So when I had to take back something that had some damage on it from the last time I went thrifting, I um, may have gotten a few more things. So we're just going to jump into it, grab some tea, get yourself a place to put your feet up. Or if you're working, I love to steam while I'm listening to people's YouTube videos or do some listing. So if you're doing some work, let's get some stuff done together. I'm super glad you're here to hang out. If you haven't subscribed, hey, subscribe. It's my birthday, by the way. You're watching this July 31st, and that's my birthday. That means I'm older now. Not much older than when I'm filming this, because I'm just filming it the day before, and literally I'm a day older. But still, it's a whole year now. And uh, I'm now 47. Whew, I feel like I'm 12. What is this stuff? Enough chit-chat. Let's get into this haul. And uh, I will tell you the whole story about the... Uh, item in question when we get to it. So if you don't know, I love vintage, I love kitsch, I love all the things like that. So I could not pass up this little embroidered wool vest. It is, I believe, handmade. It doesn't have any tags and it's just cream with green. It is super adorable and actually a good size. I might have to wear that just once or twice before I flip it. So I am, ugh, I just cannot resist all the good fun things like this. Good fun thing is sparkly. It is a little cocktail dress. And the reason I got it is because it is a torrid and it is a size 20. So it does have the one shoulder and the bustier look is very on trend still. So I loved that aspect of it. This, okay, I got these maybe for me because they're not something I would normally buy to flip, but also who can resist hot pink? Boy, that messed up the colors. Drawstring ankle, pa parachute pants with the cargo pocket. These, I think, are just like no boundaries or something. Uh, yes, I remember that. So they're a size 21, whatever that means. But I just, I, I'm going to have to try and style these just because I wanted to. So I can't help it. This, okay, so there were so many things. And you, if you are one of my super longtime friends, you know it's hard for me to say no to anything vintage. But I put so much back and I still got so much. Uh, so this is, I had to get this because this is Together, which if you are an, sorry, my timer went off for something I was bidding on on shopgoodwill.com. That's one thing I do, just a little tip, is I do set timers so I can get in there with last minute bids. Anyway, as I was saying, I love the vintage and this one I could not, could not resist. It's a Together, which is a so, I can so talk, I'm just excited. Someone actually beat me out on the item I wanted little rascals, but I got a different shirt, so we're good. <sighs> Bugger head. Anyway, did I say that? I'm so sorry. Uh, this is Spiegel, and it is just a vintage together shirt. This one is probably, I would say, 90s Spiegel, but Spiegel goes back to... I don't know, at least the 60s, maybe the 50s. They used to do the prizes for Let's Make a Deal. Anyway, could not resist that. I also could not resist this. This is Aspen Limited, made in the USA. This was actually something I didn't buy the last time I was there, but it was half price. And it is just this great, ooh, the colors are not going well. Sorry about that. Uh, it is super, super humid out today. Like, oh. We had like 10 raindrops. That was super exciting. Anyway, super cute dad sweater. Had to buy that. I better go faster because the next item that I want is up in 48 minutes. Okay, these are so insane. These are vintage piquettes. They are size 16 
and look at their shorts. Oh my gosh, could you die? Those are almost long enough to be gaucho pants, but they're not. They're super high rise. Thankfully, there is still elastic. One thing to always do at the thrift is test the elastic. If you can hear that crumble, you're gonna have to replace it sooner rather than later. Or if there's a little creaking, sometimes you can get, a little, get away with a little creaking just by like, oh yeah, that'll be fine. Or no, it's gonna go. I just got a skirt that came with a top and unfortunately the skirt's elastic is shot. The top is amazing. This is Desigual, uh, which is an awesome brand from Spain, I believe. What size are we? This is a small and it has so you can see it's little branding right there. So really cute little skirt. I love selling skirts. I know some people say they have trouble with them. I just love skirts. I cannot resist them. So I buy them and then I sell them. This, speaking of skirts, is a really cute denim jean skirt. A little pleating in the front. It's a size 16 uh, Doncaster Sport. I did not, I don't really know about that brand, but I also got this because I might want to try it. I don't have a good denim skirt right now, so I figured, why not? Let's just see if we like that. And right now, I don't know exactly what size I am. Speaking of skirts, and cannot go wrong with the skulls and flowers. This, I think, is also a torrid, yes. And it is a size one pencil skirt, stretch, Anything with skulls and flowers will sell. So it wouldn't matter if this were no boundaries, I'd pick it up still. I wouldn't as expect as much for it, but there you go. Oh my gosh, this is so uh, argent, argenti, don't know what that is, but it's got all of the, let's see, which way to you, button in front. I'm not sure, this was half off, so I grabbed it. It's 100% silk. I feel like you zip on the side. Yes, that's the front. There we go. Anyway, it's beautiful. It's silk. Very, if you're listing an eBay, like secretary geek vibes, I would put it under that. Um, could go with dark academia, which is still a thing as well. As we're heading into fall, more and more of that. This I had to get because it's Corette. And I love Corette mostly because the company treated its workers really well. And this is just a really cute muted floral kind of cottage quarry at the has those vibes, but it's also a larger size. So this is an 18. And I just love when I find some vintage that is in the bigger sizes because one, I can try them on and wear them, but also then my customers who love vintage have an option, which I like. Okay, oh my gosh, I can't reach down there. I'm gonna have to adjust. But first, let's look at this little plaid cutie. So this is a pleated wrap front fringe. Why are the colors going so wonky? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I hope the colors are okay for you, but my screen looks funny. Does this one have a tag? Oh, it has a size 14 there, it's vintage. I know there's a tag somewhere else, I think. But I don't see it right now. Anyway, I got this purely based on style and I have a large one of those safety pins that will go here somewhere. I just have to find it. It came in a jewelry lot. All right, these, oh, oh, these. Can we talk about the mom jeans? I mean, look at that. That's literally like two feet of rise. It's not, it's about 15 inches though, I would say. And these are just tapered, dark wash. There are a few faded spots, but these are the brand Ancient, which seems fitting for, I don't know, very high rise, no stretch jeans. This, can we just say that the 80s called and would like their shirt back? This is a vintage MTL, NYC slim fit. I don't know if it's actually vintage or if it's just really good at imitating vintage. It was half off, so I grabbed it because either way, I don't care. Um, yeah, I think this is like late 90s, but it looks like the 80s. I'll have to look it up. All right. Ooh, this beauty is from the Nordstrom Rack, it has the tag on there, but it is, it was half off. 
it is Everly, and this dress specifically keeps coming up as sold at Anthropology. It's just a really cute halter style. It was half off, and the original price, not at Nordstrom Rack, was over a hundred. So I went ahead and grabbed it just because it was very cute and metallics are on trend for the fall. This with a cute little cardigan over it could be dressed down with some Doc Martens, etc. You know the look. All right, this skirt, oh, so beautiful. And I was so excited. Hold on, are they together? Wait, there's, anyway, I found one of the skirt or the top and then I found the other in a separate section. Unfortunately, they weren't together as a set, but they were both very cheap. So I'll just show you this one. It's Garfinkel's, but it's vintage, made in the USA, and it's beautiful for fall. So the moody dark floral is still a thing, and there's a shirt that matches this. So I love a set, and I'll just show you the other one when it comes to it. We'll get there. All right. Again, dark academia. This is a little light but that whole kind of nerd vibe. This is Janssen Vintage and made in the USA. It is wool, I'm pretty sure, by the itch factor. Do I have an interior tag? No. So no contents and it is a size medium, but it's wool. Like a wool acrylic blend is my guess, but I don't have the proof because the other tag is not in there, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, okay, I could not resist this. There were so many sequins, so many sequins. This one I had to get, it's Barrick by Takako Sanon something. Uh, I looked up comps and they were actually pretty decent, but this one is just fabulous. Look at that shimmer. There was another one I didn't get because it was not in as good of a condition. Uh, plus I figured if no one buys it, I get to wear it. So we're good there. This is just a basic The Mountain Mustang kind of tie-dye oversized shirt. Now I had someone saying that The Mountain was vintage or that this tag, like this print on The Mountain is vintage. It is not. It may be close to vintage, but it's not vintage yet uh, as far as I know. This is a 2XL, which I absolutely love because who doesn't want to wear that with some little bike shorts and be all sassy? Again, the whole dark academia trend. This beautiful, oh good, not missing a button. I was like, did I forget to check that? Beautiful plaid wool skirt is Pendleton. Oh my gosh. Uh, still has its, this tag on it, which these often get torn off. This is made in the USA, size 14. Um, and I actually haven't seen one with this tag. Usually this is gone and all you have is this left. So that's pretty exciting. And it was, again, half off. So that's just beautiful. Such a cool skirt. This, ooh, I love me a vest. And this is a Cambridge Classics made in Italy. It's a men's, I believe. Extra large, but look at how cute. Okay, look. You get this skirt with like this tucked up under your bra to give it a little crop action going on and you have something super cute. They both have navy in it, so they go together. Anyway, adorable. Would, this is this skirt says it's size 14. No way it would fit my butt, so it's definitely vintage 14. Okay, speaking of sequins, which we weren't, but hello, there are flamingos in sequins. I am ready to live in, no, I'm not ready to live in Florida. I hate Florida, it's too humid and there are too many big bugs. But if I were ready to live in Florida ever, this would be the sweater for me. I mean, can you seriously die? Look at that thing. So this is Morgan Cole, it's a size large. Again, the brand doesn't really matter so much as the stripes and the flamingos with sequins. I mean, seriously, cannot go wrong. Oh, what are you? What are you? You are a Glen Fry fashion size 20 made in the USA, which I love. And it is a drop waist. Okay, so first it has this beautiful flutter sleeve. It has the drop waist on me. I'm a little suspect of just because I got a big old booty. And so this is not a great shape for me, but it's this great 20s vibe but straight out of the 80s. This is a beautiful dancing skirt because this thing will twirl all over. Sorry about the light today. It's just dim in here and then, oof. Anyway, 
Woo, I'm sorry. So can you see all the vintage? Do you see why I have two bags full of stuff? I mean, you're probably like, why did you pick up the flamingos? Who can resist flamingo sequins? No one, no one in their right mind, I tell you. Okay, maybe all the people in their right mind, but that's okay, I like people not in their right mind. Also, Sears, vintage Sears, totally like secretary geek. This is very like nine to five, but more 70s. I think nine to five was really more 80s. I think that's a 70s tag, so I love this. It is not a disco collar, it's fairly narrow but I'm pretty sure that one's straight out of the 70s. This one, what is this? Oh, Land of the Sun, size small, but this was half off, so it was 250. And it's just really pretty. It's so nice. And I have had a number of shirts like in this same vein that have sold well. Not the same brand, but like the same kind of look. Okay. So seriously, you know when you're thrifting and you find something that you're just like, oh my gosh, I love this and you want to share it with someone and you don't have one of your friends or buddies there. But there had been this person and she was talking to a drag queen, another. So they were talking, the she's were talking and they were, you know, I made a little comment, like joined in on their conversation when we were looking in kind of the same area on opposite sides of the rack. So we'd had a little rapport established, you know, we were teasing each other. My hair was a mess, a frizzy. Whew. So I found this and of course I had to share it because one, the drag queen and two, we had already talked and three, it's fabulous. So of course I had to share um, and it was this. So this gorgeous gold lame number. Oh dear, it does have a piece that I'm gonna have to stitch on there. I didn't notice that. I don't know if that happened when I shared it it's an easy fix though. Anyway, so it's very Golden Girls. It's very Blanche, but with sparkle. Like I'm pretty sure Blanche wore something like this. Anyway, so I held it up and of course my drag queen friend was like, I have to see that. I have to try it on. And of course she did. And she's like, I look fabulous. Don't you want to let me have it? I'm like, no, you can't have it. I want it. I want it. I want to wear it. I want to wear it. And then I want to sell it. I want to do both. I probably want to keep it, but I don't know. And it's half off even better. So she tries it on. She's like walking around in it. Then I have to go literally get it out of her shopping cart because she's like going to keep this unless I am like ballsy enough to go grab it. So she's like, okay, you try it on. And I'm like frizzy haired. I've been in this place with no air conditioning for like two hours now. I look a mess and I'm wearing like literally my lounging pants that I had just like cleaned the stalls with in the morning. I was not prepared to go thrifting, but I did anyway. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. She's like, I look better in it than you. And I'm like, maybe you do, honey, but I found it first. And I took it. And then I filmed this video because I was like, oh my gosh, don't ever do this. Don't, don't share the gold of May. First things first, thrifting with no air conditioning and 90 degree weather, this is what happens. But second thing, do not make the mistake of showing the super sassy drag queen the gold of May if you'd like to make it out of the store alive. There's going to be a haul. You better believe it. If you ever want to get out of the Goodwill alive. So that was my Goodwill thrifting adventure and it was super fun. She came back and like kept trying to convince me to give it to her, but I didn't because I really wanted, I really want it. Um, like I said, I think I'm going to be wearing that. I don't know what this is. It's really cute lace blazer. The tag says 3.1 and, oh, it's Philip Lim. There it is. I can see it now. I could not see it. So it's really, really light right there. I could not see it for the life of me in the Goodwill. So it's Philip Lim, but the reason I liked it is the lining, it says is 100% silk, which is just this part here because there's not really lining. Uh, but I just really like the vibe. So again, cottage core secretary geek that kind of thing love it oh here's the shirt that goes with that skirt so it's just a big oversized shirt size 12 again Garfinkel's made in the USA it's just so beautiful I might have to try those on and see if I can fit into a vintage size 12 who knows who knows I cut sugar in April so whew, that's a whole thing um, but monk fruit is my friend in my coffee. I'm just saying that this is a Savannah size 16 petite. 
I just sold this beautiful green Savannah wool coat. So I was happy to find this one. It's gorgeous. I think it's more purple than it's showing up. Maybe it's showing up purple, but it's a purpley blue. Gorgeous, gorgeous vintage wool coat. Perfect for the season. Oh my gosh, that pile's gonna fall over. I'm trying to go fast because I need to go take pictures. Uh, this, this is an artifacts size extra large. This one was half off and I got it because of size and just because it's so cute. Also, I love the cutaway coat here down at the bottom, the rounded hem. I think I wanna try this one on, but again, dark academia, beautiful. I do love the three quarter sleeves. They're supposed to be short. They have that vintagey look. I don't think this one is actually like super vintage. It's probably early 2000s. That's my guess. I could be wrong. I haven't looked that one up. I haven't sold a lot of artifacts, bought that one purely on style. Speaking of style, this is top lady fashion size 19, but I got this one also based on style and size. It is beautiful. It is so gorgeous. It has the lovely frog um, closures. It is obviously a little bit of a Chinese vibe. And let's see, I think, are you silk? Do I have a tag for you? Are you hiding? Why do the tags always hide when we're in the middle of filming? I mean, that's just awkward. Anyway, no, it has no contents because that would be easy, but it is beautifully lined. It feels like silk. It's probably polyester. Something like this, uh, just so you know, I will likely machine wash and hang to dry and then measure it after that. So if it shrinks, I will be measuring based on that. And then I can disclose, since it doesn't have a contents or care tag, I can disclose to the people who are potentially buying, I can say no contents or care, but this is how I washed it and it turned out fine. Obviously, if it doesn't turn out fine, I won't be selling it, but that's just a risk I'll take. Okay, this was another one that fortunately um, Miss Queen was not interested in, but I think it's so fab. Let's see, it has a tag here. The tag is interestingly enough sewn in on a drawstring. So it is, what is this? Green Castle, made in California, USA. One size, but this is the gorgeousness of this. Hello, Mrs. Roper. Uh, so it is beautiful. It's got armholes, so it's not open. It's pleated perfection. Okay, I cannot, I cannot get it. It's static clinging. Uh, so it has the armholes here and then it's open on the side. This with some mom jeans is just kind of everything. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna have to try it on. I did find a pair of mom jeans recently that I had that I finally washed. Uh, and was gonna sell and they're a vintage size 20 so they might be like a vintage like a now size 16 I'm gonna try those on and see if they fit. This is a Sag Harbor It is vintage and it is wool acrylic blend. I have sold I know Sag Harbor is just something like people most mostly aren't going to pick up aren't look going to look for however these velvet collar coats I have sold two or three of them some of them straight like a hundred percent full-on someone passing by buys it so people are searching for this kind of out this kind of jacket in Google so I've gotten a couple of these sold just straight from Google searches this is like I said a size 16 so a great size and how adorable is that besides giving you a little bit of used car salesman vibe the little velour collar <laughs> Actually, that's velvet. It's not stretch. So a little velvet collar just adds that super cute touch for winter. And it's got the crest on the button. All of the preppy goodness. All right, we're getting close to the end of the bag. If you're still with me, I really appreciate it. Let me know what your favorite thing is and what is something you would never pick up in your life. Let me know that. I'm interested to see. So this is Diane Gilman. It's a 1X. Picked up purely on style. This is 100% silk, yes, which is gorgeous. Uh, picked up purely on style because who does not want coral? Look at that. Oh my gosh, sequins. I told you there were sequins involved today. We got gold lame, we got sequins, we got all the things covered. We got little shells. It is so beautiful. Very granny chic goes to Florida, but again, I don't know who in their right mind wants to live in Florida. If you live in Florida, I like, props to you because the humidity there like this hair is not meant for that weather Whew. and the bugs oh no alligators oh no 
Seriously, it's not safe there. Be careful. Whew. Ooh, this beauty. Eddie Bauer, tall women's size medium. This is absolutely gorgeous. Again, those dark academia vibes, preppy vibes, all of these things are things that I will say, I mean, you throw this on with a little pair of high-waisted wool shorts and some knee-high socks, you are just ready to be in Gilmore Girls. Here we go. Uh-oh, I told you it was gonna fall over. It totally did. Oh, okay, and I did not show this one to the drag queen. I was like, no, 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 this one you're not going to see. It wasn't her size anyway. Well, she might've fit it. Her shoulders were broader, so maybe not. Anyway, it's Johnny Was. It's the first time I found Johnny Was like in the wild. It's a size large and it's beautiful. Would you look at that gorgeousness? Absolutely gorgeous. And I think we're silk. Hold on, let me double check. Uh, no, rayon. Ooh, I can tumble dry it low. Oh my gosh, easy care Johnny Was, who knew? I had no idea. Anyway, so beautiful. I had to snag that and I love the color. I might have to try and wear that one first. Oh, is there jewelry in there? I think I might've gotten jewelry too, but I did get this beautiful style work size 16. Oh, look at that collar. Isn't that exquisite? Can you just picture this for Christmas? Put on a little pair of black velvet palazzo pants or wear it with some mom jeans. It's just a little like shirt jacket, but it's this collar that does all the things for me. So it's got a little bit of a Victorian, a little romantic vibe. It does have shoulder pads. If you don't know, shoulder pads are totally on trend, big, poofy, whatever shoulders. Look at the runway shows. They are all there. Ooh, did I say what size this was? I think I said 16. Yes, and it is nylon and polyester, but it is dry clean only. And I will be using my home dry cleaning kit, the Dryel, for this. I just love that thing. It helps so much. I sold this blazer that it's one of the first blazers. I, I sold a men's blazer. Oh my gosh. Someone from Google came in. It's a Levi's. It had some damage, but I disclosed it. But it was one of the first things I'd photographed. Like, guys' blazers have been sitting there for two years because literally blazers don't sell for me. And I love them, so I keep buying them. I've stopped. Anyway, someone came from Google, bought it, you know, one of those guest buyers. So I go to pull it and I notice that there is a very faint stain on it. Oh my gosh. And of course it's dry clean only. And I thought, oh, I'll wash it. It's polyester be fine. But because it had a rip in the lining, I was like, oh, I can't wash it because that will make the rip worse. Cause the lining is usually what is the most delicate in a polyester piece like that. So I used my stain stuff, used the dry out kit, got it out, was able to send it out to the buyer. Whew because guest buyers often don't check their messages in Poshmark. Otherwise I'd send a note saying, Hey, I found a stain. I didn't notice it before. Would you like me to like slip three bucks into the pocket and still send it? Do you want me to cancel the order? But often guest buyers don't ever check their messages. So that said, just loving the home dry cleaning kit and also loving this little vest that is hand knit. I believe I don't, remember if there are any tags. I don't think there are any tags, but look at those beautiful colors. Again, super cute. Vests are fun. One, because they're vests and I always love vests. If you don't know that about me, now you do. Hello. I love vests. My name is Amy. I have an issue. Maybe two or three. All right. Ooh. Okay. All we have is jewelry left. So I really appreciate you spending my birthday here with me. It's the first birthday since my mom passed and I'm just kind of in a mood. It's just, it's a mood. I don't know. I'm feeling like I don't know, we all go through these places where I don't feel like I've contributed anything good to the world and I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. I mean, I think that's normal after like a major event, like a parent passing. And right before the parent passed, I got a divorce after 12 years of marriage to an alcoholic where I felt like I didn't exist. So it's, it's really, I don't know. So I really appreciate you just being here and giving me a purpose to like hang out and talk to cool people. Uh, I did pick up some jewelry. This is a piece that I loved. It has one little piece of straw that I kind of need to push back in there. And it is, I believe, vintage. I don't know if it's even antique. I'm gonna have to look at that. It does have some loss of color, but it's such a cool statement piece. Brooches are in, that is beautiful. This would also look very jaunty on a little cap. Ooh, so cute. All right, there was this woman who was literally going through every piece and I'd waited and it was so hot in there, I almost fainted because I had, I had, thankfully I took water with me, but I was just 
Oh my gosh. So I only looked, I couldn't look at all the jewelry because she was taking forever. But I got this piece, which is, I believe that tag is Premier Designs. Oops, which I finally figured out. It's like a little crest, so you think it might be juicy, but it's not. And anyway, this is beautiful. So silver tone, it has the flowers, the leaves. This is in really good condition. They had some jewelry jars, but they were not, mm, not cute. But this was cute, and I was super glad I snagged it before that lady saw it because I was starting at the other end, you know, and she was taking her sweet time. Anyway, so I had to leave. This is this really cute, cute, cute little fishy necklace, gold tone, and on the back it is marked Sarah Cove. And there are, it does have a little loss of color, but because of just how cool it is and it's Sarah Coventry I went ahead and grabbed it because it's really cute all right you are really cute too and I'm super glad that you are here again let me know what was your favorite find and what is something that you would never ever pick up and ever even look at a day in your life this was like I said mostly a vintage haul and I'm super excited because vintage is where my heart is I love it I love flipping it I love getting it into the hands of people who adore it and the cool thing about this is a lot of it is my size or oversized enough vintage that I think I can squeeze into it. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try it on. I was gonna do like a little try on portion for this video, but it's like 90% humidity outside and 90 degrees. And so I was not going to try on, no, the clothes that, no, it would have been a mess. So this is what we got. Anyway, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time here on my birthday. I hope that you are out there making the world a better place because you're an awesome, interesting and amazing human doing cool things in the world or just being you, which is cool enough, no pressure. Anyway, I hope everything is going well and I am so honored that you are here today. I will see you later, alligators. Bye.